our sons and waters. So let's just tap in. I do have a few downloads, but I do want to get into the cards and just see what they have to say first. But I do feel the vibes. No, spirit's like, say it. That is what the fuck we said. We said what the fuck we said, is what spirit just said. Look, I'm seeing a check mark here. No, you can't see it. Goddamn. Check. Checking shit off the list. So I feel like one thing that somebody's checking off the list is how they're no longer accepting fucking crumbs. Nalu. Again, we just got Nalu the other day, number 26. <sighs> Allow emotions to come and go as moods rise and fall. Like waves, they can be ridden until their power disperses. You are not the wave, you are the ocean. Exactly. Somebody's recognizing who they are through honoring their emotions through letting it flow through them to not not um suppressing it no longer i feel like a lot of us spent our entire lives suppressing our emotions and we're finally giving ourselves the space to actually feel to actually honor it and move through it because the only way we can move through it is if we accept it and acknowledge it. We'll acknowledge first, then accept it, right? The other day we had the pole card. Now we have Ao stepping out of the darkness and stepping in to the light. Number two. So I'm seeing eight here, the completion of a huge life cycle. Somebody went in the dark, went within the shadows the darkest spaces of their emotions. I'm even, I was feeling the vibes of someone in the past that didn't honor their emotions. And they went through this healing process, well, which they thought was, but they ended up getting placed in positions where they realized they didn't, that it was just hidden beneath the surface. And then they went within the depths. But I feel like also somebody was staying in the shallows. And they could have been shallow or been around shallow people. I don't know why I just heard shallow how. Shallow how? That's what the fuck I heard though. If you watch that movie, somebody used like some sort of hypnosis. Because he was so focused on someone's looks. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Watch pattern behaviors and receptive thoughts, both negative and positive. Illuminating your life with conscious awareness allows you to see that you're the dreamer, not the dream. That's fucking amazing. Because Nalu just said, you're not the wave, you're the ocean. And here it's you're the dreamer, not the dream. So remembering who you are. Remembering that you're worthy, you're capable. Knowing your worth. When you know who you are, you know what you deserve. And I feel like a lot of people could have been in situations when, when they were vulnerable and naive. And now... They're starting to realize, yeah, the obstacles and challenges that they may have put themselves in is being exposed. So a lot of people could be feeling worried at this time, feeling feeling like they don't have enough to get by. Mm. 
They could be even experiencing, like, it could be affecting them so badly that it's affecting their physical health. could also be worried about an ending yeah look at that an ending there's some sort of cycle being completed and i feel like they're more worried about the other person than themselves yep they're more worried about what sort of chaos and challenges they'd be causing within someone else's life but it's time to put yourself first yeah heavy burden like somebody's definitely worried about leaving or telling someone to leave But it's creating too much challenges and too much chaos. And I feel like somebody's saying that they didn't come this far to come this far. They didn't come this far just to stay where they're at. Oh shit, that was hidden. I do feel like as soon as somebody gets the push to leave, it causes someone to regret how they messed up, how they didn't show up. How they only created more challenges and obstacles and chaos or didn't take care of it, didn't maintain it, I'm seeing. Lacking that main, yep, lacking to maintain it. And now they wanna be bold and make moves. But I feel like these moves are just going to be chaotic. They're willing to work, put in the work. And commit. Commit to putting in the works. I don't know, man. I can't fucking stand that shady ass nosy ass energy i just can't it could have been what this was as well people trying to get in between the two of you get in the way of what you're trying to do these cycles you're trying to complete nosy people around wondering what you guys are up to trying to have you absorb their emotions. Because there's a lot of people around you that are carrying heavy burdens, that are 
reminiscing about past experiences with you. Off the table. I feel like somebody just said that they're done waiting for an apology and they're just focusing on work. You know, whether this is people that was trying to get you to walk away from this partnership, trying to get in the way of this partnership. Yeah, you're like airplane mode. I'm busy right now. I'm busy manifesting. I'm busy taking action, creating a new life. Page of Pentacles. Somebody's definitely coming with a gift. I have the hardest time channeling when I can feel people lingering, wondering. I do see heavy competition, heavy competition vibes. So that could be that vibe here too, of people lingering, wondering what you're doing, wondering what you're saying. <sighs> wondering whether or not you're in a committed relationship. I just heard somebody say, yeah, committed to self-love. Committed to their job. Committed to the contract that they came on to Mama Earth to fulfill. The Lord. Take charge with authority. Fucking arrows. Coming at you sideways. I feel like somebody's really possessive. Secretly possessive. Mm, she wolf, yeah. Trying to get you to step out of your power, that's why. It's like I'm seeing like sneak disses. That was off the table. But it was like halfway on, so I'm going to leave it. I'm trying to get you to change your direction. It's like you already chose your path, but they're trying to get you to forget which path you chose. Because they see you making plans and focusing on that path. The birth of something new. Why is this person worried? Hmm, because you're feeling en enthusiastic about it? Possibly because you're happy about something that doesn't involve them and maybe they want to control that? Because you're committed to your mission, your path, your journey, committed to self. Look at that, your mission, your journey. Somebody's fucking mad about that. That's dumb as hell. I know that vibe though. Supreme, because you're the motherfucking supreme. And you know it. And they know it too. And that's what they're afraid of. They're afraid of you getting that recognition that you deserve. Afraid of your success. Afraid of you being victorious. 
And they know that when you rise above, you might rise above their bullshit, that chaos, that obstacles, them challenging you even, them trying to take charge and lead the fucking way. Chaos. There it is. I just heard trying to compete for your time. But it's like this time was like sacred space for you. I'm seeing they wanted like every single part of you. And that's fucking sick. But you're excited. You're excited about this big moves that you're making. And I feel like there is someone around you. Like, I don't even know where this went because I was fucking annoyed. But there was someone around you that was trying to deceive you. Trying to get you to be dishonest with self and what you're worthy of. Yeah, look at that. Trying to create fucking illusions. Sick as fuck. Sick as fuck. You motherfuckers is goofy. There it is. There's your token to your success. You gotta collaborate with like-minded people to keep it moving to create stability yeah because you can't carry that heavy load by yourself because it's gonna come become stressful and exhausting and then you're not gonna be able to sit in your place of power if you're stressed the fuck out trying to do everything <sighs> coming so quick and people are literally shaking in their motherfucking boots like oh now you want to get su suited and motherfucking booted nah should have kept that fucking same energy nah I'm good It's people's worst fear is you knowing who the fuck you are. I can't tell you how much fucking people got scared as fuck when I found out who I was. Scared. <laughs> scared. When I started to reveal myself and speak more and more of my truth, they know I was about to shatter all their fucking illusions. That false realities they were living in. That false sense of security they had. Scared. Understanding why you resist what you have to do is a crucial part of the creative process. So I'm feeling this resistance as knowing your worth, but resisting to make a move. And with this P energy here, I was feeling the vibe of pity. You could have a lot of foolish ass people around you and it's like pity the fool. You fucking pity these people. But it causes you to stay stuck. Be content to know perfection as a distant utopian goal which we journey but never arrive. And change for a change, do something. You usually do a certain way in a different way. I feel like we got both of these cards. I feel like we actually got a lot of these motherfucking cards today. But I do feel someone's knowing that it doesn't have to be perfect. It ain't gotta be perfect, but it ain't gonna be like this.
shut down your fears and desires and dream and journey. We have a lot of change here, different directions. Changing the things that you're dreaming about. I don't know, man. I really gotta end this shit because I, I started this shit like... Mm -mm -mm. Motherfuckers be selfish. Definitely time to harness your mystic power and know that you're not alone. I do want to close this off with something sort of light. Look at that. The temperance was at the bottom and then I instantly saw the hermit card. And I feel that this Virgo moon coming up on Christmas Eve till the 26th, it's going to come with a lot of plot twists. This Venus retrograde and Pluto conjunction. I forget who Pluto is conjuncting with. I can't remember. But it spoke of the rise of the underdogs. And I've been feeling that vibes for so long. And it's coming. And that's why they're so fucking nosy. I feel like they feel it more than you do. Watch for signs and reminders from your angels and loved ones that they are close by. Remember, they are working hard to guide you. Everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them in all their past lifetimes and will be there in all lifetimes to come. So know that you're never alone and will never be alone. This card is a huge reminder that there's always help and support available to you. Your guardian angel is with you now and is here to aid you in all of your endeavors in order to fully receive their support. Ask for it, then surrender to the process. Know that whatever unfolds will be for your highest good. You're a mystic with the capacity to connect with energies that go beyond human senses. Within you is a force of magic that is directed by your will. There's an opportunity for you to rise up at this time, but it requires dedication and discipline. You're being guided to look at what you're working on or at the situation before you and determine where your priorities lie. If you're unable to figure out you must use your intuition and discernment to focus on what will bring you closer to your goal and the happiness of everyone involved. When this card arrives, it's also important for you to check in with your intuition as it will give you the guidance that will be important for your growth. High priest. There is a high priest. Divine counterparts. Oh gosh. There's the hermit. That Virgo energy. That Christmas vibes. That Christmas wish. The divines are doing some work. So just keep the faith. But also speak your truth. Because you can't just remain fucking faithful. And not put in those works, even if it's works, meaning taking action to communicate. There we are. So somebody has to will it into their reality.
spirit just opened me up to this page. So let's see what this is. You're being guided by your angels. That's fire guardian. Ignite your passions. Guided by your angels to connect with the powerful energy of desire at this time. If you have recently set an intention to explore your sexual side or become more sexually open, the fire of desire can burn away any old setbacks that are preventing you from expressing that part of your nature. If you're in a relationship, this card indicates a great spiritual and sexual connection. Wow. Fucking duh. It's the high priest and the high priestess. But I feel like they're both in retreat and recharge mode. And I feel like it was for a reason. Because they knew that if they stayed focused on their path, they knew that they weren't alone. They knew that the, the divines were putting in the works just as they were. Because as within, so motherfucking without. <laughs> 